thanks for joining me. Welcome. Welcome back. Hey, everybody. And as you can tell by the title, we are here today to make customized playing cards. And as you can see, that right there is my boy. That is Prince. Yes. And we are going to go ahead and dive right in. You guys know how I like to do it. We're not going to waste any time. You guys are going to be so amazed at how easy this is. Now, I do want to let you know that the cards come with a blank back and the numbered face, or you can do blank front and blank back to do fully customized. Um, I decided to, with this set, do a cut card and go ahead and throw two different cut cards in there for that purpose, but you can do whatever you want. But um, this video is gonna be a little bit different. What I'm going to do is a lot of people ask me what software I use, and I use Silhouette Design. And so it is not a tutorial on how to use a silhouette design. It is just me going through showing you how I use it to make my prints and also the settings that I have my stuff on. A lot of people tell me, um, well, my print isn't coming out as vibrant. What settings do you use? So I'm just going to show you the settings that I use for my, I wouldn't even say settings. It's just changing a few things to high quality and um, whatever paper that you're going to be printing on as well. So just keep that in mind. That's going to be a little bit different, but the video is still going to be just as quick. I'm not going to keep you guys on there for the whole countdown. I'm just going to show you everything you need to know and the information as we go along. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. The next scene will be us in front of the laptop. Also, guys, before we do this, please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Please make sure you also hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I do upload a new video. And the next video that we are going to be doing is going to be on how to supplement onto a license plate. So that is going to be the next video. I have bought tons of blanks for you guys so we can go ahead and start turning those videos out. All right, guys. Thank you. See you in the next scene. Okay, Bye. everybody. We are back. Excuse the setup. This is kind of impromptu just to be able to kind of show you and give you a breakdown. Again, this is not a full tutorial. I'm just going in and showing you how I do it because a lot of you guys ask me the software that I use and how do I um, design um, the different images. So I use Silhouette Studio. I do have Designer Edition Plus. There are the you know lower levels and there's also a free level. Now keep in mind, some of the tools may not be available depending on which level you have. Now a lot of people always tell me when they get the images, they're trying to size it like this to fit within the page, this page right here, or fit within an image that they have. And what happens is a lot of people say the images get distorted. Well, that's because that's not how you should be um, sizing the image. If you are using Silhouette Studio, um, Adobe, Photoshop, things of that nature, when you click the image, you are able to go here where it says width and height and enter it in. It will automatically um, do the sizing for you. And that's how you avoid that distortion that can happen. Okay, so for example, the cards, the measurements are going to be width 2.6 and the height is going to be 3.6. This is going to give you enough bleed room around the edges as well. So you always want to take that into account bleeding for some of your substrates that you are going to be using. So I'm going to simply just show you this really quick. You're going to click the image and you're going to go to width. And we already said that that was 2.6. You can hit the tab button or you can just scroll over 3.6. And then I'm going to hit enter and watch what happens to that. Automatically get sized. So you don't have to worry about anything. The next thing um, that I'm going to do is go ahead and bring it over here. I'm not gonna be using this one, I'm gonna be using this one because it has the curved edges for the cards. What I do then is I hit object, I go to replicate, and I'm gonna go to fill page right here, okay? And it will fill the page for me automatically, okay? 
Uh, this is how I get everything lined up and I'm going to go right here to the center button and it's going to center it for me. Okay. Oh, wait, there we go. I'm sorry. I have to group that. Okay. And then I'm going to center it and it centered it right in the middle of this sheet for me. Now I'm going to be printing from my wide format printer and that is going to be the Workforce 7840. So that prints 13 by 19. And hold on, guys, I got to grab my notes. Um, if you have a wide format printer and can do the 13 by 19 sheets, you will only need three sheets and it's going to print 18 to a page. Um, if you have the eight and a half by 11 machine, uh, you are going to use a total of nine sheets and it's going to print six to a page, okay? If you have a 16 by 20 heat press, you're only going to press three times. And if you have a smaller heat press and you're using the eight and a half by 11 sheets, you are probably going to do around 10 to 13 presses, just depending on the size. I know some people have a 15 by 15. It would just depend and also on your heat, okay? So that is basically how I design stuff in here, resize stuff in here, and how I get my images to fill up a whole page when I am doing cards. So this way you don't have to go in there and try to line it up yourself. Okay, again, that was just um, once you group everything together, you go to object, you go to replicate, and then you go to fill page. Um, and then it'll do it automatically for you. After that, you just want to hit the center button and it'll go ahead and center it for you. And I'm going to go ahead and print. Now, what I'm going to show you guys also is that you guys asked me what settings do I use to have my colors pop or you guys have the same one. But unfortunately, um, the coloring isn't as vibrant. So I'm going to show you those settings that I use now. So at this stage right here, uh, mine is already preset, but if yours isn't, I go to print. I select the printer that I'm using, which is the Workforce 7840. I go to preferences. Well, let me bring that down to one. I go to preferences. I select my sheet size. And right here where it says paper type, for this particular printer, I pick high quality plain paper. Um, if you're using a 2720 or a 2760, you're just going to select plain paper or plain bright paper because it's not going to give you all these other options. And once you select that, so you're going to go to where it says quality, okay? And you want to pick high. Usually it is on standard. This is where some of you guys are getting those pizza rolls. Some of you guys are getting those lines that show up where the printer is printing. You want to go ahead and put that on high, okay? And then once you do that, you're just going to simply click OK. And my stuff is already set in um, silhouette to reverse the images for me. So this image is already reversed when I was designing it, okay? But remember, reverse your images so that way they come out the correct way. Once you have your stuff set, you want to hit apply. That is going to save those settings in there for you so you don't have to do this every time. And then you are just gonna go ahead and hit print and it will print for you, okay? So that is how I design the stuff, line the stuff up, the settings that I use when I get ready to print to answer some of you guys' questions. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and send this over to the printer and I will come back and show you guys the next steps. Bye. All right, we are back and I have printed out all three sheets on the 13 by 19 paper. And so I'm going to do the first three with you guys. You know, I don't like to keep you on there while I'm doing a whole thing and do a fast forward scene. So the reason we did everything a little bit bigger was for the bleed area. And this is why right there. So if you can see, I have bleed room going all the way around the edges. Okay. Um, so that way you're going to get a full cover on your cards. Okay. And I'm just taping the top and the bottom now you could probably get away without um taping the top and bottom you could probably do it and just tape the top um or the bottom uh with my luck that's not how life plays out so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the top and the bottom just to be safe all right and again just that simple line it up top bottom there you go 
And I'm going to do the last one. And what I'll do is bring you in for a closer view um, so you can see that bleed area a little bit better. Okay, is that in frame? I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Tape down and tape down. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Now... Hopefully you guys can see that. There we go. How we have the bleed area. So that way everything, we don't have to worry about it, will be fully covered. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish this whole thing and we will come back when we are ready to press. Now, what you do need to keep in mind is when you are doing this, you need to have a cardboard. I like to use the large priority flat rate um, Meller. Uh, this is a medium, I'm sorry. Um, to place this on because you're going to have to flip it and then put it on here and we'll go over that but just make sure you're using a poster board or something uh, that can fit your sheet of paper and make sure you at least have two of those okay so I'll see you when we come back Hey, everybody we are back and as you can see I have lined uh, everything up on the sublimation paper and it is laying on top of the cardboard and we're going to go ahead and flip. So what you're going to do is just take your other cardboard and you're just going to flip just like so. And the next thing you're going to do is just slide it off. Now you may ask, why didn't you just pick it up and place it on there? I wouldn't recommend doing that because it could easily come off. It, it's to, For me, it's just easier doing it this way. I have more control um, over it. So now what you want to go ahead and do is just line up everything on your heat press. You don't want too much hanging over. You just want to make sure everything's just right. Once you do that, you want to go ahead, cover it. So I have this at 379 and I'm doing it for 60 seconds. It's just because this uh, press gets hotter. So I don't want to, to burn it basically. Okay. And so we have it at 60 seconds and we're going to go ahead and press that. And while this is counting down, I want to go ahead and thank you guys for tuning in. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. Make sure you have that notification bell hit so that way you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please do click it now, like now, like right, right now. It's right there in the corner, right there. And uh, hit the notification bell so you're notified when I do upload any videos. Um, I do a lot of polls and I am very, very excited because I bought a whole bunch of blanks so I can go ahead and show you guys how to press on those, give you the measurements and where to buy everything from. And if you are new to my channel, I like to just jump right in, not do a lot of talking and just get everything set and done for you guys. And I appreciate it. The next video that I will be uploading is going to be on how to do license plates. Okay. I know, exciting. Okay, so for this part, you want to make sure you have something heavy to weigh your cards down because you don't want them to warp, okay? So I'm gonna take that, put it under, and I am just using the paper that I'm using. It's, it's heavy, so it's gonna make sure that it doesn't warp. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and set that aside, and luckily for you guys, I come prepared so you guys can go ahead and see the big reveal. So let me make sure you guys are in frame, get you close. Okay, look at that. Now, when you are peeling this tape, please be careful because you don't want to peel it too hard and it pulls it. They're pretty thick, but just to be on the safe side, you just don't, you know, you don't want to. But there he is, the man himself, Prince. I love this. It has his name down there. It has his symbol, a lady with a dove right there. So, yes, and these are the custom playing cards now keep in mind um they also come um with the card on the front and blank on the back but we also have blank on the back 
blank on the front. So if I wanted to maybe put his logo here and then have the ace and all that other stuff, you can do that as well. So we have them blank front and back. And then we have them blank back. And you just already have everything on the front. These make great Mother's Day gifts, Father's Day gifts, birthday, special occasions. If you have somebody who loves to play cards, spades, if you want to have some for your house and then, you know, use the little extra ones to have your house rules on there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> then you can definitely go ahead and do that, everybody. But basically, this sums up the video. Please make sure that when you take it off the press, you have it on something heavy so that they don't warp and you want to let them cool off. And then you want to go in. I'm sorry for the fly. I had my dog outside and the back door was open. Um, shuffle them and everything else uh, just to give them a little bit more bend back into that and everything else. But I hope you guys loved it. I'll take pictures at the end so you can see everything will be listed in the description box below. I repeat, in the description box below. Okay, thank you guys. I love you all. See you in the next video. Bye.